So here is pretty much all the things that need explaining in the final five chapter of JJK. First of all, is Judy's domain expansion. I think that will be explained fairly quickly in the next chapter. Then Sukuna's backstory. If, uh, I wanted the high end of Sukuna versus all the sorcerer and stuff, a uh, full on backstory, but I don't think we will be getting that any fight from high end era. Then I want uh, the merger stuff, the tank and stuff. This is like, if they left out the merger stuff, that would be ridiculous because we need that. Uh, it's been hyped so many times. Hakari versus Uraime has been shelved like for, I don't know how, how many times. So all the Megami stuff, how would Megami find out about his dad? How will Gojo tell Megami about his dad? He's most likely going to die, but it would still need a fair, a good amount of pages to write a conversation between uh, Gojo and Megami. Also, we never got an explanation on what happened when a person breaks a binding vow or something like that. Also, what was Kenjaku's will? Why did he give the power of merger to Sukuna? The cast of Tengen, Kenjaku and Sukuna, their past relationship or their past backstory. What happened between Tengen and Yuki in the past? Why are they like buddy buddy in the future? And also, Gojo has a family. Gojo has a mother and father, as we as been confirmed from Gege. So, what happened with them? Are we going to get any explanation, or they're going to show up in the show or not? And uh, why does Sukuna let Kinjaku turn himself into a cursed object? And exchange of what mining well exactly? And what is up with Uraimi? Why don't she age? She knows Sukuna from Hyena, right? And she's still around. So why don't she age? What is uh, what's her thing? And Yuji's grandfather knew about Kinjaku, so did Yuji's father know about Kinjaku and did all this as a plan of himself? Which could be a great plot twist, but uh, we need to know about that too, so it will need a lot of pages as well. One of the most important things, how did Kinjaku know that Yuji is going to be too stupid enough to go into the fight and also eat a finger? And I don't think anybody will be stupid enough to do that. Yeah, and somebody could be stupid enough to go into a fight, but I don't think anybody will be stupid to just eat a cursed finger like that. Also, what happened to a fully manifested Rika holding Yuta's body? Did Yuta just drop dead in the panel like a nobody? What would happen with Yuta? Um, what's with Rika? And there are a lot of... Uh, I might have missed some things. Let me know in the comment down below if you have any other uh, things of yours that you missed or any other plot points that need to be explained in the uh, last five chapters. But yeah, that is it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in a bit. Peace.